fill that thing up without spilling a drop. The, right. That's the Midwest can. All right, let's find out if this thing gonna work or what. Can't spill a drop. Okay, you're already spilling, you're already spilling, oh. Wade. I don't think, is there anything coming out? Yeah, a little bit. But look. What? But something bad's happening. Look, look, look. Gas is coming here out of the side. He's supposed to be clicked in. Mm -hmm. So I'm supposed to click that in. Now he's filling. Right? But there's like no auto stop, I don't think. Let's see what happens. Okay, stuff like that That's happens. You have to keep adding pressure. You're putting pressure on there. So now you've got That's this covered in gas. To continue, you have to put gas on it. What do you think, Manny? Welcome to the channel, everybody. This video is kind of depressing. It's going to be depressing for Midwest Can Company. It's kind of depressing for us. I don't like doing bash videos. I like showing you guys stuff that we like. That like, wow, this is cool. I'm going to get this, right? But today we have to do a very sad video because this can is the worst thing ever made on the planet. And we're going to talk about it. What it's interesting. Think? It says American owned. So this is what I mean. It's made in America. I know. Oh, well, actually, this is Franklin Park, Illinois. Yeah, so this is actually a, a local company, which stinks because I always like to support local companies, but when they don't make good products, I have no problem not supporting them. You know? Yeah, unfortunately, we are all about made in America. We appreciate that. I don't know if it's made in America. It just says owned. American owned in owned. America. Well, if you're owned in America, you should be made in America. Unless it's technical and... You know. Yeah, but here's the problem, guys. Is the one thing. Well, I'll let Dan go. Well, competition. This, you know, well, competition, and the fact is the laws with gas cans because you had a couple of idiots out there. So unfortunately, a couple of idiots changes it for the majority. And unfortunately, that's how this country is sometimes, and it's not always a good thing. There used to be an American company, guys, American owned, American everything, called Blitz Cans, and they just with the regular cans, you pull the cap off, you pour, it, and gas comes out, right? Which the way? Do you remember? And that's how it was. Like I remember my grandfather had old steel cans. You just Boom, you can put it in there. And if you're that much of an idiot messing around with it, it's on you. Yep. You know what I mean? So we had a couple of idiots that were the rich. They were not really idiots. They're probably they the smartest idiots. people in the world because they're so rich right now. No, it's not. But, you know who got rich off of it? The lawyers. Well, I'm the sure lawyers, and I'm sure these people did. I mean, you it know? sucks to be burned. But basically, they poured it on campfires. And what happens when you pour it on a campfire? The, this is very volatile flu, fuel. It's flammable. Shoots up, through it, into here. Boom, you got yourself a bomb. Right? So I don't think it shoots like it's basically it's the uh um, it follows the fuel back up into the can. And then the end of the does, can but it's up the right. Look at the video. Actually, the fumes it actually yeah, okay, the fumes you know, too. Yeah. It's very explosive. Compared to yeah. diesel fuel, it's night and day. Yes. And the thing that sucks is we even have to deal with diesel fuel like this now, which is horrible. It's so, a shame. Yeah, so this company came out, here's our great idea, right? It's all in this invention right here. This little lock right here, before you go to pour into whatever you're pouring into, you snap that lock down, you push it down. Then you rotate it, and this lip goes on the edge of the cap, right? And in theory, you're supposed to push down, compress it, right? Opens up the valve here. I'll try to hold it. So it's compressed, and you're flowing, right? Well, unfortunately, gas comes out of all areas of here. This is the quality of the O-ring seal. So we dripped oil all over the place. Now, even with a quality O-ring seal, so if we put a quality O-ring seal on there, when you're putting this and holding it on wherever, this probably weighs, well, here, we'll tell you exactly what it weighs. This is five gallons. Mm -hmm. Fuel weighs 6.8 pounds. What, how much does it weigh? Fuel weighs 6.8 pounds? Fuel weighs 6.8 pounds. That's interesting, because if you were to ask Depending me, on I would have guessed a lot more, because doesn't water weigh eight pounds? I don't know I if guess? water's lighter. I, I, would think, I would think fuel would be... It's 6.8 or 6.7 jet fuel weighs that. So I'm roughly okay. thinking that. So anyways, you're looking at like 40 something pounds of fuel, right? Mm -hmm. So you have 40 pounds on this. This has a little fuel in it, so I don't want to mess with it. 40 pounds on it, you know, stressing out this connection here, it's prone to leakage. So it's going to leak all over you, all over the can, all over the thing you're putting it into. If you're filling a lawnmower with a hot exhaust, you have a, a, a quite a risk there of a fire. Yeah. That to me is risky crazy, right? If you look down in here, I don't know if you see that. That is a uh, some kind of flame arrestor thing too that they have to put in there. Well, the only thing that that does is it causes you, when you put it in there, to keep clicking off with the hose handle, right? So what do you do? You keep pulling the hose handle back. Keep pulling the hose handle back. So you're right here risking another spillage. 
you know? Yes. Thanks, government. Yeah, thanks, government, and thanks, Midwest Can yeah. Company. And then even here, if you look here, the way this thing spins around and locks on here, I mean, you need, like, to be Hercules to get that pass there, to push that down. It's so hard. It's crazy, man. It's crazy. So this gas can, unfortunately, I've got suckered into two of these gas cans because you know when you need a gas can and you just need it right there and then you go to the closest place, which was probably Walmart or something like that or Farm and Fleet. See, look, I can't get that past it without it. So I went there and I got suckered into two of these cans and I don't know how much they were, but I'm, I'm literally throwing them out. They're such garbage. I'll tell you, you want one of the good old cans? You know how to get one of the good old cans? Garage sale. Garage sale. I went there and I went to a bunch of different garage sales and when this whole thing happened, when they had changed things, I went around and I actually grabbed two. I grabbed a one gallon and a five gallon because I'm like, that's all I want. You know what I mean? I know. I wish I could go on Amazon and just buy new uh, lids for it, but whatever, guys. Stay away from yeah. Midwest Can. Sorry, if Midwest Can, if you're watching, we're totally well, isn't sorry. Is there like but... a breather? You know, like sometimes you have a yeah back uh, here. There no, is or they, no? They don't do it in there because they use this system here where it comes back down. The breather's oh, in the I front. So you know problem. when you guys are pouring it, it starts to get really slow, and then all of a sudden you hear it go, glug, 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 glug. Yeah. That's the breather gotcha, situation okay. happening. Again, Midwest Can, if you're watching, I apologize. There's just no way that this apologize? got any good review. Because they're in America, they're trying to make So the, what, though? I don't, listen, I'll, I'll be the first one to support America. That's the first thing. If I got two products, I'll always buy the American product, even if I got to pay more. But, again, like Ford Trucks, it's an American company, and I'm sorry, if you don't make quality stuff, I'm not going to spend that's my money. Well, dude. Well, but it's still an American company it's is what I'm saying. Here, yeah. You know what I mean? But I'm just saying, in general, I'm the, I love buying American, but I'm not going to buy it when you don't make a good product. You know? And that's the thing that bothers me. It's like, don't take me for a sucker and just put the American flag on there and expect me to buy it. Yeah, so. this is called a spill-proof spout model. Spill proof. spill proof you guys every time from brand new with diesel you get fuel all over your hands this is the most insane product ever to live and this right here proves that online uh when you see reviews they're bought everybody likes to pre-do that yeah but still when you get on there it's still a problem like this, you know? is it, this yeah and it just came out it just came out look, look. he's bending fuel everywhere okay stop let's go do it on the atv there's no No, look at that. Look at that. It's a, it's a rare leaking. Yeah. Again, see, see even, see, even see. with the gasket situation, you guys, I understand we have a bad gasket now or something bad happened. But even that flexing, you have to flex that thing so much, gas pours everywhere. I know, I cannot literally put gas in the ATV now with get gas all over me. This can sucks. We just got it, you guys. It's pretty much all you can get. So if you want to see how it works, is basically when you, this rests on whatever you're putting gas in, and you have to push that, which makes that, you know, compress, and then fluid comes out here. But it just, dude, it's the worst design ever. And I literally went online and I saw that some people gave it some good reviews, and I'm just thinking to myself, man, that's propaganda. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's... This proves it. Because there's no way that you say, I mean, maybe some guys have a good review. Maybe there's one perfect situation for this, but I don't see it. I, I mean, can you imagine being the owner of this company? He probably uses a different can. Oh, I'm sure he does. You know what I'm, I'm saying? Sure he does. He's like, this is garbage. I'm not using this thing. I'm going to use. I don't know. I, don't, for, I understand why it can't be flexible, but I've always liked the one with flex, you know, like a flexible uh, nozzle where you can pour. I don't know, it's just me. Yeah, it's just, it's too hard, it's too hard. So we're gonna go throw this in the dumpster and enjoy your day, guys. Remember, for more exciting tool action, go to toolsinaction.com.